Hey y'all, Kayla here from Home Study Homeschool Adventure. I'm just gonna sweep out the porch and show you a little bit of what's going on today. Um, I'll be back. And that's done. We had a lot of leaves and stuff get under here from when uh, Hurricane Ida came through. Now we have this rain is a part of um, Hurricane Nicholas that just went through or is currently going through, I guess, um, Texas. Um, so praying everybody over there is staying safe. The girls used these dresses while they were running in the rain the other day, so we hung them up out here to dry. So those are nice and dry now. I'm just trying to get out here straightened up a little bit um, before this hurricane comes through. It's uh, just supposed to bring a lot of rain to our area, which is better than you know it could be. But the, I'm praying a lot for the people down Southeast Louisiana areas because they have been through so so much and lost so much um, and now they're having to deal with all this rain and all this stuff ongoing now so all right I'm gonna go in and see what's going on in the house laundry going. I've been doing a lot of chores today. I don't have my, um, baby, the kids I babysit here with me today. Uh, so I've just been catching up on house stuff and getting everything over here done. Um, laundry and dishes and is it just me or when all the dishes are done in your house, does your house just feel so clean? Even if it's not, even if there's other stuff going on. To me, it just seems so, so clean. Uh, my neighbor just gave us some chocolate, some coffee chocolate. So that was thanks of him. Now I have these uh, clothes, clean clothes, that are sitting here on my bed. Hold on, Lulu. So when we had the hurricane come through, the girls slept in this closet to stay safe. And I took a bunch of my clothes and all that out of the closet. So... Right now, I need to come in here and get their blankets and stuff from the storm that they used, fold it up, and then I can put all my clothes back in the closet. Um, I've been researching a lot about homesteady things because I want us to get much more self-sufficient and um, be able to start doing some things here around the homestead. We just have a small um, 
nice good size yard, but it's in town, so we're limited on what we're allowed to do as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, that is a few limits on like the types of animals we're allowed to have and that sort of thing. Um, but there are quite a few things that we are able to do. Um, I don't know if you moms find Ninja Turtles and Sheriff Woodies and things like that all over your house. I'm sure you do. My girls are great at leaving things like that around. But anyway... that got knocked down while they were in there from the closet so I need to get those hung back up. But anyhow, my plan is to start um, a garden, a fall garden. We had a little experimental spring uh, summer garden that some things did really well and other things did not. So, um, I'm hoping that um, a, a fall garden will do well. We learned a lot from experimenting with stuff. Um, up till now, and so I'm really, really looking forward to being able to um, looking forward to being able to Kind of step up my game and make our fall garden much better even though i really did enjoy um what i learned in the time and the practice i got with this the spring summer garden but i'm really excited to step up gardening i want to get chickens i'm definitely get into chickens as soon as possible so that's exciting um and then i i'm definitely going to continue talking about homeschooling like i always do on our channel here because homeschooling is something very, very near and dear to my heart. And I know it's very relevant because I know a lot of people are are doing that um, right now that they, even if they weren't homeschooling before, there's quite a few that are starting out now homeschooling. So I'm definitely going to continue posting homeschool tips, tricks, and ideas here on the channel. Um, and I hope that you guys continue hanging out and um, leave comments and let us know what you think so far as far as my ideas for the um, increasing our homestead. We have wanted to get into rabbits too. So I've been researching a lot about rabbits and chickens and all of those things. So we don't have um, dressers currently in our house, so a lot of our clothes are either in the closet room that I, is a project, like an ongoing project that I've been working on, um, making one more extra room of our house into a closet with everybody's um, clothes in it. And then I have a lot of my clothes that go into the closet in, in like little tote boxes, so that's what all of this is. These are my tote, totes of clothes and then random things I fall out of the closet that I need to hang back up. So I need to get all of that put back into the closet now that the storm has passed and um, we don't need to be hanging out in the closet anymore. So that's kind of what I'm working on today, just a small peek into that. Um, and then I've been doing a lot of research as far as more homesteady things. Um, and I have a few books that I really, really enjoy that have been helping me out on my journey to get more homesteady. Um, we're going to be building some. My husband works at a pallet factory. He has some old pallets that they've let him have over the past several months. So we're going to be using some of that pallet wood to build planter boxes. Um, this book is amazing. It's the Reader's Digest Back to the Basics book. Um, it's so great. 
it's a thick, thick book, and it's, it tells you how to do everything homesteady. Um, I found it on eBay, but they, we, we actually had this book when I was little. It's just got so much great information and pictures and about animals and building things and canning and canning is something else that I'm super super excited to get into then I've been using these two um, thinking tree journals the adventure handbook to help um, with like skill type things to teach me, my, my girls and you know kind of learn myself about different animals and what dangers they present and um, living off the land and that kind of stuff and protecting yourselves in a, in a nature environment this is the thinking tree um, journal that is about nature nature study but i've been using this to make lists and plan out what i want to do as far as in our homestead our little mini homestead in the backyard and the girls have one of these too but they use it for their nature study and um so a lot of times when they're out doing uh science outside in our nature study i use this to plan you know plan the garden or come up with ideas for like plants for different things that we want to do. The girls also have been helping plan little pictures of how they want our farm to be one day. Obviously we're not going to have big like you know pigs or anything like that. This was Janice's plan for our farm. Her little chickens are adorable. So things like that. Um, I've been like making little lists and coming up with ideas and all that. Um, I believe these are some of Lulu's plans. They're so creative. I love the girl's creativity. How they want their farm to look. Um, and like I said, we live in town, so we're kind of limited in what we can do here. Here's Olivia's farm plans. Very cute. I love when the girls get involved and get excited about things. Um... I've been looking into chicken tractors as far as like a chicken coop and like kind of drawing out plans and um, coming up with ideas using the wood and things that we already have in the backyard. I want my husband and I to make some planter boxes to go around our little greenhouse out there and like make a little path leading up to the carport and the, you know, little porch area. And so I, I just have a couple different ideas. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe water rain catchment system and different things. I've got a lot of ideas. Um, and we have a good amount of space in our yard, which is great. So um, as we little by little can, we're going to make this place more homesteady. And uh, self. the goal is to be self-sufficient as possible, um, even living in town. And then one day, Lord willing, we would love to buy some land and um you know make our own homestead and stuff like that i love the baker creek book i i like flip through here all the time and look at all the different seeds and stuff so that's really fun so i've just been like i'm more in the planning stages right now trying to plan out what i want to plant in the fall garden exactly so stay tuned as um i'll be posting videos you know related to that related to um gardening and our adventure starting out with chickens and day in the life videos and homeschool videos, of course, and um, just ideas and tips and tricks. So if that's something you're um, interested in, I know we're just getting started and it's kind of very, um, very, very small scale right now, but that's why I, I put Homesteady in the title because, you know, we're, we're definitely just starting out and we're really excited to see what we can do and how far we can go with this, even here on our property that we live at now in, in town. Um... So, if that's something you're interested in, you know, just family of trying to love each other, love the Lord, homeschool, homestead, just learn how to be self-sufficient, um, then come along on the journey with us. I encourage you um, to hit that subscribe button, tell your friends about it, maybe share our videos um, to your page if there's one of the videos we've made in the past, or even this one that talks about our plans that you want to share with others. Um, and honestly, more than anything else, I just want to be an encouragement and a blessing to other people, other families, other mamas out there who are trying to figure this out. And um, the world is getting crazier and crazier, and it just seems like we need to do something. We need to prepare in some way. We know that God is in control ultimately, and we put our trust and faith in Him um, 100% to protect us. But there's things we can do, too, to prepare our families um, 
such as learning to can, learning new skills, things that will help us in survival situations and um, storing food, buying a few extra cans every time we go to the store. And it's not just preparing for like some zombie apocalypse or something crazy, but we live in Louisiana and we just had a really, really pretty strong hurricane Ida come through. And it even more reinforced to me the more knowledge I can put in my mind and, and the more I can teach myself and the girls how to um, survive and live off of a little bit and, you know, how to survive without all the conveniences and technologies and things that we are used to every day. And the more we can prepare them, the better it'll be for them long term. And if we face any more strong hurricanes, which is a very, very strong possibility here in Louisiana, um, it just helps our family be ready and be prepared. And if you want to see our, our journey towards that, towards those goals, then just follow along. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And I can't wait to see you all next time. Bye. Talk to you later.